campers, this is Darren with My RV Works, and today what I'm going to talk about is the Dometic SZ1 thermostat. Uh, we got called out to a service call near Point No Point. There's no point in calling it No Point, it's just kind of silly, <laughs> right? Uh, we got called out here, so we're on the Kitsap Peninsula, and uh, Puget Sound's just over the way here. And um, the problem was that the furnace is on, the air conditioner is on, oh my gosh, it's going crazy. And at the end of the day, it turned out to be just understanding how this thermostat works. So I wanted to take a few minutes and explain how this works because it might help you as well, okay? So, and bring it on in a little bit and let's talk about this furnace. I'm um, not the furnace, the thermostat. Um, so you may not like my analogy, maybe you'll love my analogy, I don't know, but let's look at this thing as having four doors. We have door number one, which is the fan speed. We have door number two, which is cool. We have door number three, which is furnace. And we have door number four, which is off. Think of these as four separate doors, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the fan speed. What does that say? AU, the fan speed is an auto, okay? As compared to high or low. I'm gonna leave it in auto right now. Um, next door is cool. We have it set to 70 degrees. The next door is furnace. We have it set to 68 degrees. And the next door is off. Now, here's the weird part on these furnaces. You first have to set your fan speed first. Then you can select cool or furnace. So watch this, folks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my... Uh, right now, it's probably, what, about 65 degrees in this coach right now. Okay, well, obviously it's warmer than 70, okay? Now, I just turned it on cool, so I opened up my cool door so my air conditioner is on, okay? Now watch this. I don't know if you can hear the fan, but the fan is on low, okay? So let's go back to fan speed. Okay, we're in auto. I can make my air conditioner run on high or low. I'm going to put it on high. What's going to happen is the fan is going to turn off which it just did, and it's gonna come back on on high. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's a lot more, yeah, maybe I pan out a little bit and where we can hear the hand, the, the, the fan speed, okay? So now my fan speed is on high. I just put it on low, here. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna turn off, turn back on on low. That's low, so hear that? Yeah. Um, Let me explain what this auto button is. So now what, what I mean is you have a high speed and a low speed. He just turned himself off and he's gonna come back on. Or maybe not, maybe we're satisfied with our temperature. So what I'm gonna do on my air conditioner, let me, let me force the issue here. I'm at 70. I'm gonna bring this way down. But let me explain what it's gonna do and then I'll demonstrate it. So it's 55 is as low as it can go. I'm gonna turn this off for a second. So here, pan on me, let me try to explain. And then we're gonna, I'm going to explain what this thing's going to do, then I'm going to demonstrate what this thing's going to do in the way of hoping that it makes sense to you. So, fan speed. I can use this strictly as a fan, a high fan or a low fan. Did I say air conditioner? No, I did not. Did I say furnace? No, I did not. I said it's a fan, only a fan. If I'm in auto mode, the AU, it's not going to do anything. The AU only comes into play during the air conditioner cool mode. That's the only time AU comes into play with little asterisks on it. Because if I put it in AU and I go to furnace, the fan will not turn on, okay? So you only have on your fan mode, AU, LO, or HI. Those are the only modes. There is no off mode, okay? So AU would be your off mode in furnace. If your thermostat's on AU and your furnace is on, your fan will not come on, okay? So I wanna talk about cool right now. If my thermostat is in AU, and I have my set point. I'm going to use some analogies here. Let's say it's 70 degrees right now. I said it was 65. I lied. Okay. So in my analogy, it's 70 degrees in this coach. I turn on my air conditioner. I set it to AU. So thermostat fan speed is set to AU, 70 degrees in my coach. Okay. As the temperature starts to get warmer, if I'm between 5 degrees of my set point, 5 degrees of my set point, my fan on my air conditioner is going to go on low speed. Five degrees of my set point, my fan's gonna go on low speed. As soon as I get to the six degrees, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 degrees, away from my set point, it's gonna go on high speed. But when it goes from low speed to high speed, the, this thermostat, the SE1 thermostat, is gonna turn the air conditioner fan off and back on again. And there's like a two second delay. Don't ask me why that happens, but that's what's gonna happen. 
I have gone on service calls where people think there's something wrong with their air conditioner because of this delay. It'll be a hot summer day and their air conditioner, they'll say, the air conditioner, something's wrong with it. It's turning on and off, on and off. All day long, it's turning on and off. What it's doing, folks, is it's going from high speed to low speed. And when it turns itself off, there's that two second interval between high speed and low speed. Makes sense? You will also maybe hear your compressor continuing to run. There's nothing wrong with your compressor running with no fan on. Nothing at all. It's a whole separate motor system up there that's circulating all the coolant around. Okay? So, high speed to low speed. What, di what dictates low to high? A five degree interval. So if it's warm outside or hot outside and your air conditioner is right there between the five and the six degree dif delta between that high and low speed, your fan's gonna be on high, on low, on high, on low, on high. And it's gonna do this on off, on off, on off. I'm sorry, but that's what it's gonna do. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Five degree from your set point, low, six on up, high. There will be an interval of time between the air conditioner turning itself off fan side, not the compressor, and turning itself back on. I think it's like a second or two. We're going to demonstrate that. Okay? That's the air conditioner side. Furnace. If I want my, my fan to blow, I did not say air conditioner, with this thermostat, you cannot have the air conditioner and the furnace on at the same time. But you can have the blower motor on and the furnace on at the same time. There may be benefits to that. Furnace is on the floor. The heat rises. You have your fan on because you've gone to door number one, which is the fan speed, and you've locked it into low fan or high fan. Then you go down here to door number three, which is your furnace. You can now turn your furnace on, set your set point, and that will say, as long as you leave your fan on low or high, then it will run constantly. Doesn't even care what the temperature is. Could care less what the temperature is. That fan will stay running on low or high, regardless of the temperature. Why? Because you've told fan low. It's doing what you told it to. Come on. So it is possible to be on your furnace and have your fan blowing. That is not your air conditioner. It's your fan. Make sense? Now let's do some demonstrations. You can stay right there, Ann, because I'm going to tell you the numbers I'm going to put in here and we're going to hear this thing do the different things. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the thermostat in auto fan and then I'm going to start playing around with the cooling temperature and you're going to hear this thing jumping around on us. Okay, here we go. So auto, I got my fan speed locked into auto. Cool. I'm set. I want it to be 55 degrees in here. That's how cold I want it to be. So what's going to happen? High fan. It's on high. Okay. I'm going to bring it up to about probably 65 or so. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that's about the temperature. So I'm going to go up to 65. I'll make it 67. Wait, wait, wait. He's like, are you done pushing buttons? Are you sure you're done pushing buttons? Wait for it. Hoping I got a good number in here. You're going to hear this thing turn off. You'll still hear the, you'll still hear the compressor. It's going to turn on low. You'll notice a difference in sound. Let me go up. 69. Let's see what 69 does. We're within that five degree difference, right? Oh, don't make a liar out of me. It won't make a liar out of me. I just got to find the right number. Lots of old music. All right, let me go up another little number. If you're trying to find that five degree spot. Uh, there. Compressor still running. Came back on low. Did you hear that? So I went at 72. Okay? At 72. If you heard it, I don't know if it picked it up on the camera, but you heard the compressor continuing to run. But the fan was much louder, and now the fan's quieter. The fan's on auto. We're just playing with the temperature, simulating temperature increasing and decreasing. So now I'm going to go way up. It's certainly not 84 degrees in here. What's going to happen now? Anybody? It's going to turn itself off. When this thing's convinced I'm done touching it, it's going to turn off the whole works. Good jokes. There you go. He's convinced it's not 84 degrees. So with that demonstration, we went through the showing you how the fan's going to go from high to low to off because my fan's in auto. Another demonstration. It's in auto. I'm going to lock it in low. Okay. Remember, I went to 55 degrees and he went on high. What's going to happen now? There's my air conditioner. I'm on low. I'm going to go to cool. 
I'm going to go down to 55. Remember last time when I was in auto, 55 put me in high speed, didn't it? There. I've locked my fan speed into low. I've set my temperature to 55. Anybody? 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 He's going to stay on low forever. So for those of you in the south, we moved our business up here from Texas a couple years ago, and I would just tell people down in Texas, lock your thermostat into high and get it out of auto, and that'll prevent it from doing this cycling thing when it gets right on that, that buffer of that five degree thing. Just, just lock it on high and be done with it, or lock it on low and be done with it. But just know that you have it that way, and because it's always gonna run. So here we have 55 degrees, he's on low. Now watch this, I can make 55 degrees and make it be on high. Now I'm on high, what's gonna happen? He's gonna turn off, turn back on, on high. That's on high. He will stay on high. Watch this. Remember I went to 84 degrees? Cool. As I'm doing this, I'm trying to make it so that it makes sense to you guys. You may have already gotten my point, but I'm going to do one more now. One more. Uh, I'm at 82 degrees. There's no way it's 82 degrees in here. 82 would be like a heat wave coming through our area. Does he even get to 82 up in the northwest? I don't know. So on 82 degrees, he's still on high. Why? Because I locked my fan speed in. Make sense? I'm going to put it back to auto. Okay. All I've done is I've turned the fan to auto. That's the only thing I've done. I have not touched my temperature. He turned off. So see how auto's the off? So, in summary, I'm going to go to furnace here in a minute. But in summary, we've got... The fan speed has everything to do with how far away you are from your set point on your cooling. Okay? So if you're more than five degrees away, it's going to go on high. If you're five degrees to your set point temperature, it's going to be on low. And if you're above your set point temperature, it's going to be off. Or you can lock it into the speed. Now, so I'm done with I'm done with that. I'm going to put, I'm going to put this back to 72, you said, for air conditioner. Oh. There we go. Okay. Now let's talk furnace. Furnace. Now I'm in door number three, which is furnace. Uh, so I want my furnace to come on. Here's my 82 degree thing. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Are you done touching me? Okay. I just heard a click up here, and now my furnace just came on because I'm at 82 degrees. Is my fan on? No. Why? Because I have it in auto. Let me go put it in, in low. We'll hear this fan running and the furnace on at the same time. So, auto, low, furnace at 82 degrees. There. That is not the air conditioner. That is just the fan on low, and I can make the fan be on high if I want to. I think you see that. So that is not the air conditioner and your furnace on at the same time. That is your, your fan speed on low or high and the furnace running. If you don't want your fan to be on at all, put it in auto. All I've done is I've changed it to auto. The fan turned off. Okay. So now I'm going to put it uh, furnace. I'm going to bring the furnace down to 68. Okay. Okay, folks. Um, let me mention one more thing. Some of you might have this thing in Celsius and Fahrenheit, and it's really, really, really simple to change. You just touch your two up and down arrows right here, your plus and minus. So here it says 68. Touch them, and now it's 20 Celsius. Touch them, back to Fahrenheit. Okay. If that added value to you in any way, give us a thumb up. That's how you can thank us. If you like these types of videos on your RV tips and tricks and also any maintenance that we do, subscribe to our channel. Uh, share it with your friends. And uh, always, happy campers say my RV works. So this is Darren from Point No Point signing off. Hope that made sense with the um, Dometic SZ1 thermostat. Okay, see you next time.